Thrust Systems Go. Clear the lift off. everybody happy wednesday morning talking some mlb early slates actually it's the main slate on DraftKings and FanDuel. 105 eastern 11 games on tap pretty tough one too i'm excited to talk through it with you guys in advance i apologize if uh this is rough a little bit a solo quick hit is not my forte but I'll do my best to bring you guys what hopes to be some winning plays hopefully you guys get to the top of the leaderboards again Appreciate everyone that watches this like button right away. Helps us out a ton. Hope you're having a good Wednesday morning. If you want to join us at The Nation, Golf Fox tomorrow. Hoop and Tambo will be going live later. NBA still going on. A lot of screenshots yesterday. MLB absolutely smashed yesterday. NASCAR going on. NHL as well. No MMA this week. It'll be back next week, though. Can't beat the price in the industry. The content we have. Such a great community as well. Keeps growing by the day. Discord always popping. You can use the promo code HOOP15 to on the monthly, six-month, or annual packages. $69 a month comes out to about $58. Uh, the six-month package, $59 a month comes out to about $50. And then $49 a month annual comes out to a little above $40, bucks, like $42. I said it yesterday. That's what some people charge for niche sports. Um, can't beat that price. Weekly, if you want to give us a try, it's $24. No Discord, no promo code. But again, all the sports on the website, and the content. So if you want to join us, Hoop15 gets you 15% off. And of course, our MLB shows are sponsored by 4Deep. If you're into betting and you just want, on top of picks and plays, you want education, you want a process, head over to 4Deep. If you're a Ship Nation member, right here. If you're a Ship Nation member, you actually get a free week um, to 4Deep. So head over there. You get a first week to try it out. Then you can use Ship It, the promo code, for 20% off. For future payments, if you do want that, very easy. Just click that link, ship it or not. I don't know if it probably can't click the link. Copy that link, shippingnation.com backslash four deep. We'll get you there. Again, use that promo code. Ship it for 20% off. Let's talk some baseball again. 11 games on tap. First of all, looking at weather. One game looks to be a concern, Texas, Detroit. Uh, we have it. It's not actually Kevin Roth. He's uh, on vacation, so... Weather's in for them. Trust them just as much. Obviously, I always go to the Roto Grinders weather report to check it out. Yellow, orange in Texas and Detroit, which is actually important because Tyree Scooball and Dane Dunning, I think, are in play today. So yellow, orange, monitor that up until lock. And then Pitt, New York, Mets, we have is yellow. It sounds like uh, the rain will be coming in later in the game, so I'm not worrying about that one at all. Just Texas, Detroit on my radar today. Let's talk some pitching, though. And, yeah, I mentioned it from the top. It's pretty tough. We'll start AK and above. I'll talk about most of these guys. My pool is a little larger than I initially wanted. Yesterday we talked about it. really only wanted, like, four guys, five guys. Most of them did pay off as well. Tilting Jones got pulled early. But, yeah, Screwball starts it off at 10 k uh, the highest price pitcher. Freddie is 9-3, the next highest price. I think Freddie uh, will be the highest owned pitcher on the slate. At 9.3K, I do not have a K prop for him yet on DraftKings. I do think it'll be the highest on the slate, though. Right now, we have nothing above six and a half. Uh, oh, so we have six and a half. No juice on the overs, though. So I do think Freddie will come in as the highest owned. I mean, man, he has been so good this year. He, the strikeout numbers are always great for him. Not the best matchup against the Padres, but there's some strikeouts to be had, especially at the bottom. Freddie is my SP1 on this slate, buying in on the talent. Uh, I like Scooball as well. Again, the weather is a little concern. I do think Scooball, Freddie pairings a little more contrarian. I think a lot of people want when we get to the bats, Dodgers are another great spot. The bats are very expensive that you do want. Um, but yeah, I think there's enough cheap options that there's always at the bottom of the order. Another 11 offense or 11 games, 22 offenses. I do think you can go Scooball, Peralta and figure it out with bats. Even get a couple Dodgers if you want. Brady Singer at 9-2. We were going to have him yesterday. The game got postponed. Now he gets to start today. I mean, the White Sox are awful. There's no doubt about that. But looking in the range, like, Screwball's got that upside for the strikeouts. Peralta's got it. 
Singer's just in 9.2K. I think I'm like running my stuff right now. I ran my 150. They have a nice $3, 150 max. I have, wow, I have to go all the way down. Right now I'm having 5%, 5% Singer right now. So again, that can change when lineups come out. Much prefer Freddy Peralta. Prefer the upside of Scooball as well. Stroman, better real life pitcher, not strikeouts. I'm out on him at 9-1. I think Austin's interesting at 9K. Again, I want upside on this slate. K props aren't very good. Like 20 will be good enough on this slate, I think. Five and a half K prop, juice on the over at minus 150, one of the highest there. Give me give me some Gossman today at 9K. I do think he gets overlooked a little bit. He's my pivot in that Freddie Peralta range. And Bryce Miller, too, I guess, right there. Gossman Miller at 9K, 8.9K. Loved it yesterday. Logan Gilbert, Hunter Green, good uh Good performances there. Love pitchers in Seattle. I think Bryce Miller will get to Abbott a little bit later. I'm going right back to that Seattle pitching stack. And again, I think Bossman, Bryce Miller, good pivots right in that same range as Freddie Peralta. Pablo Lopez against Baltimore. Pablo hasn't been great to start the year. I need to see it. I much prefer Bryce. I much prefer Gossman. I don't think it's a crazy play. Plenty of lefties should be out there for Baltimore. They're hitting the ball well, though. So I'll pass on Lopez. 8.2K. Yeah, there's Andrew Abbott right there. I like him when he's not playing at Great American Small Park in Seattle, one of the better pitchers parks out there. K prop, six and a half. Again, juice on the under, but that's one of the highest on this slate that we have. Fly ball pitcher. Again, Seattle can negate that a little bit. Give me some Andrew Abbott at 8.2K. And again, I think his ownership is relatively capped. Max Free against Houston. No, thank you. Paul Blackburn can't strike anybody out. No, thank you. Brandon fought against the Cubs. That one I've been going back and forth on. Like, man, the Arizona Cubs absolutely nuked yesterday. Bullpen was used both days. Yesterday and the day before was in extra innings. So that's a case where they're going to want to extend Fott if he is rolling. But, man, I don't like picking on these Cubs too much. I will say I think he's a solid pivot at 7-5 because right below him at 7-3, Luis Severino, I think, will be – Probably the most popular punts, him and him and Steven Matz, I think. Matz gets the uh, great matchup against Oakland. Severino, solid matchup against Pittsburgh. Good K prop as well, 25% strikeout rate. So, yeah, I think him and Matz are the ones that have the chalky SP2 down below. I prefer Matz, I think, because Oakland's awful, especially against left-handed pitchers or even worse than they are against righties. They were a little pesky against Lance Lynn yesterday, but – I think I prefer the 600 savings, Oakland's ballpark, even though Pitt's not – or uh, New York's not much better. And, yeah, that Oakland lineup against lefties is awful. So Severino, Matt's the chalk down here. Dane Dunning would probably be my pivot uh, if that game does go against Scooball, but I still don't love Dane Dunning by any means. And, yeah, I, I have anyone else down here. Uh, Michael King, maybe. The Brewers have been so hot, though, but – yeah, no, pro- probably not too much, Michael King. Severino, Stephen Matt, prefer Matt. Dane Dunning, a solid pivot if that game goes at a quarter of the ownership as Severino. And nothing else. Like, I'm not Jordan Wicks, no. JP France, no. Bailey Falter, no, et cetera. So, yeah, how I look at my pitching pool, recapping it. Freddie Peralta, SP1, no doubt about that at 9.3K. Uh, I like Gossman as a pivot. I like Bryce Miller as a pivot at lower ownership, 9K, 8.9K. Screwball, an interesting spend if that game goes. Just such a good real-life pitcher. Matchup is tough, but he has the upside to break any slate. Uh, and his ownership should be relatively capped. He's definitely going to get some. But all the way up to 10K, people would rather go to Freddy. I have Andrew Abbott as number three. Because I think, again, I think he gets completely overlooked. I like that Seattle Cincy game stack right there for pitchers. And then... Yeah, Steven Matz, Luis Severino to round it out at the bottom. My pitching pool, again, it's going to be a lot larger than it usually is because I think there's so many viable options, and I will rather keep my bats more condensed than pitching today, which is not always the case. So that's pitching. We'll go quickly just game by game. Again, it's supposed to be a quick hit. What are we, nine minutes in? Uh Uh-oh. Nine minutes in. Let's go quick game by game. Get this out for you guys in the morning. Slate plan, core report, everything, tools will be up. As always, the so first game of the night, night of the day, 105 Eastern, the Minnesota Twins, Baltimore Orioles, Pablo Lopez, Albert Suarez on the mound, eight total, pretty good hitting weather though, 70 degrees in Camden. 
I mean, yeah, Pablo Lopez, well, I didn't really want to play him at 8.8K with all these lefties that Baltimore is going to have. There's much better offenses, and Pablo Lopez is still a good real-life pitcher. It'd be a one-off, if anything, power. One-offs at Gunnar Henderson. He's been hitting the ball really well. Ryan O'Hearn in the three-hole, 3.6K, uh, I think is pretty solid. Jackson Holiday, you do get him all the way down there. Now second base. Uh, if you want to do a little wraparound, you can play Gunner at short, Jackson Holiday at second, which is nice. But prefer the lefties, one-offs or mini stacks at best. No, I mean, man, these twins are just been so, so bad. So, so bad. I will say, actually, Albert Suarez, it looks like he's getting the start for Baltimore. I thought it was a, another name earlier in the day. Um, yeah, I'm seeing Suarez. And if that's the case, he's all the way down there at min price 4K. I thought it was someone earlier in the day, but now I'm seeing Suarez. So I do think Suarez is most definitely in play at 4K um, on a pitching slate that isn't great. On a slate we want Dodgers. I'm going to throw Suarez in there now talking about this game. Um, so, yeah, no bats really in this one. Suarez is a pitcher that I'm going to add to my pool. All those punts down there, like Matt, Severino, you're not really interested. 7-3, seven, 6-7, seven, you don't love it by any means. You can save 3K, 2,700. I like that, so I'm adding in the pool. Uh, no bats really in that one, though. Just power one-off lefties for Baltimore. Texas, Detroit, Dunning, Scooball. I'm out on it. Seven and a half total, 65 degrees, wind blowing in. Easy fade there. I got no. Ah. Zach McKinstry, if you want a full punt. Second base or third base shortstop eligibility, 2.3K. Like if I'm going Scooball, Peralta, and I want to go five Dodgers, If I don't even know if you can make that work for sure. I assume you can. With the bottom of the order, maybe a McKinstry with dual position eligibility for very cheap in the five hole can allow you to do that. So, um, yeah, no, no bats in Texas and Detroit, though. Pittsburgh and the New York Mets, Bailey Falter, Luis Severino on the mound. I have a little interest, I think, in these Mets. I mean, Bailey Falter can't strike anybody out. Not a great lefty. I definitely don't love this park. Uh, 60 degrees I don't love as well. Prefer the righties, obviously. Starling Marte at 3-8, I think, solid price. Pete Alonzo, no one's going to play him at 5-3. Francisco Alvarez, 3-6. Always a Tyron Taylor guy at 2-8. Those would be the main guys that I'm focused on right there. Marte, Alonzo, Alvarez, Taylor, assuming they're in the lineup. Again, mini stacks at best. There's a lot of better offenses, I think, on this slate. Uh, but, yeah, Bailey Falter, not great. I just don't love the weather, don't love the park. Padres, Brewers, Mike King, Freddie Peralta, yeah, I, if you want the game theory, the leverage, et cetera, you can play bats against Freddie. I think there's a big enough slate. He's not going to be that, that highly owned. We're not looking at like 70% by any means. So no bats for the Padres. Yeah, I think I'm out on the Brewers as well today. Didn't get the job done yesterday. Mike King solid. I think there's plenty of other better spots on this slate. So out on that game for bats. Kansas City Royals, Chicago White Sox, assuming this game does play. Yeah, I mean, you have to have interest in these Royals with Jonathan Cannon making his MLB debut. Solid hitting weather, a little above 60 degrees. It looks like wind blowing out a little bit to left. Um, righty is Jonathan Cannon. I mean, I think this, this lineup's in play one through nine. They have the second highest team total on the slate, sitting at about 5.1. We don't have a lineup out yet, but, man, they're just so, so cheap. Outside of Bobby Witt, 6.3K, but you can definitely make Bobby Witt fit, especially with Suarez with Matt, with Severino. Outside of him, though, like Vinny P in the 3 at 4-5, come on. Velasquez, all the pop. Melendez got some pop. If Renfro's in there, like this line up top to bottom. Don't be afraid. If Freddie Furman's down there, um, that 2.8K at catcher, I'm good mainly. I don't know. Like if Adam Frazier and Isbell in there, I'm not really sure I want that. But I do like Renfro, Melendez, Velasquez, Vinny P. Give me more of the top of the order. Very much in play against this loose cannon making his MLB debut. Nothing against Brady Singer. White Sox are awful. I think you can get to Brady Singer with just how bad the White Sox are. Um, but I prefer like the Freddies, the Gossmans, and um, Bryce Miller a little bit more. Next game on the slate. Uh-oh, this ain't no quick hit. Uh, Braves, Astros. Yes, Braves. I like the Braves for sure. JP France, a reverse split sky. The Braves, no LBs, like yesterday went on the IEL, so this lineup is cheaper. You can definitely play the lefties, too. I prefer the righties, though. Acuna at the top. You can always leave them off like we talked about yesterday, just because he's so expensive. 6'5", Riley 5'9", Olsen 6K. I think this deck ends in a little lower owned 
um, than people might expect with having the third highest team total on the slate. Because if you want to spend up for the bats, people will just prefer the Dodgers. And there's pitching to spend up to as well. Braves disappointed yesterday. I like going right back to them. Guaranteed ninth inning at bats. Ownership should be capped a little bit. Astros against Freed. Nah, I'm out. My favorite bats the lefties. I don't want to play your dong or payoff or Tucker against Freed. So out there, Yankees, Blue Jays, Stroman, Gossman on the mound. Stroman, way better real life pitcher than DFS. Not something I love to attack on the ground ground ball pitcher, though. Blue Jays been disappointing. Vlad got Vlad got it going though yesterday. Yeah, Vlad put up a big one. Got going a little bit to Toronto, but no, no Blue Jays. I'd rather actually the Yankees, even though I'm playing Gossman, kind of like yesterday, Kikuchi got there for us at low ownership, but when he doesn't, he blows up. Yeah, I mean, Gossman doesn't blow up quite. Actually, I mean, it's been awful to start the year, no doubt about that. Yeah, I think it's another Kikuchi spot like yesterday. I'm going to play some Gossman because the upside's there. We've seen it last year. I mean, it's plenty of sample, year sample in, in them. I'll be, he's a solid pitcher. He has some strikeout upside, but it's tough start to the year. Judge, Soto, Rizzo, all these guys, top of the order is what I'd focus on the Yankees if you're playing 20 teams. I think you can mix and match it that way. Nats, Dodgers, how many more games do we have left? White Sox, cool. A couple games left. Washington, Dodgers, Dodgers are the top stack on the slate. Jake Irvin is awful. I mean, the lefties, he's a little worse against lefties than righties. One through nine, though. If Andy Pages is back in the lineup, he's only 2-5. Assuming Lux is in the lineup against the righty, probably could very well be pinch hit for. Like a lefty comes in, Kiki will probably go in or something like that. If he's all the way down there, though, they jump on him early. I'm fine playing Lux at 3-1. Outman probably in there, 3.7K. Muncie will be back. Will Smith should be back. Yeah, top to bottom, you can play these Dodgers. Just try and think how you play them, whether it's a lower own mini stack, whether it's a lower own pitcher, like a Gossman. Uh, it doesn't have to be really low on a Bryce Miller not playing Freddie, et cetera. So Dodgers will be popular for a good reason. No Nats. Nationals for me. Cardinals, A's. Man, I hate this park. Both these teams, I mean, I'm definitely not playing the A's. I'll say that right away. The Cardinals, Blackburn keeps the ball on the ground. He doesn't strike anybody out really, but it's not the park I love. It's good hitting weather, 75 degrees, wind blowing out a little bit. I still don't love it at all. I prefer the lefties like a Brendan Donovan, Lars Newbar. You get Mason Wynn if he's in there, shortstop 2.8K for cheap. Yeah, I'll have to see the lineup. Probably just cheap pieces, mini stacks, something like that. Maybe with the Dodgers, but I don't love the full stack. Cubs D-backs, Jordan Wicks, Brandon Fott on the mound. Yeah, just absolutely went nuclear yesterday this game. Again, the bullpen. Two days ago, went to extras yesterday. These starting pitchers got blown up. Yeah, I mean, man, if Fod or Wicks, Wicks more control issues, Fod can give up some power. Like, if these guys get hit around early, this absolutely has the potential to nuke. Roof? I don't know, actually, if the roof's – probably not. It's supposed to be really hot today. Give me one sec. I think it's supposed to be, like, 90 – 86, 89, 91, 91. Yeah, roof, roof's probably going to be close. It's supposed to be, like, 94. Um like 30 minutes after game time. So I bet Roos closed regardless. Solid hitting park, fought wigs. I prefer the Cubs side, I think. Guaranteed ninth inning at bats. Uh, the lefties, Cody Bellinger stands out. Ian Happ, if he's uh, in the one hole. Michael Bush, he's been swinging a really hot bat. If Talkman gets down there. Nico Horner had a great game yesterday. Probably will move down in the order against the righty. Yeah, I'm torn on this one. I'm going to look at our slate plan and look at our tools and really see about this D-backs Cubs. I think you can game stack it. But I respect Fott, and if Jordan Wicks has control, I don't love picking on him either. Prefer the righties, the Christian Walkers, the Suarez, the Marinos of the world. Reds, Mariners, easy X. I like the pitching duel again, Abbott, Miller. I have interest in both, and both relatively, I'm not low owned, but they're not going to be in the top three owned, I don't think, for pitching. So I like the pitcher duel, no hitting. Oh, that's all we got, because there, yeah, Royals, White Sox has the double header. That's all 11 games, quick hit, probably double what everyone else does. God wanted to go pitching, wanted to go a little bit game by game again. Projections up, slate plan, G Rising, our man on it today. Core reports, our hitter rankings, stack rankings, pitcher rankings, and an absolutely popping Discord with a lot of very knowledgeable members in there talking baseball, talking NBA, talking all sports at all times of the day. NBA going on tonight as well. PGA locks. 
tomorrow, I think early, like always. Hey, PGA get in, best team in the industry. MLB today, plenty of games, plenty of slates. NBA going on tonight. NASCAR on Sundays, always big prize pools. NHL, a lot of money to be made. Don't know what you're doing if you're not a member. At ShippingNation.com. Weekly, $24 a week. No promo code or Discord for that. Just all the content. Still can't beat that price if you want the Discord or a chance to use the Hoop15 promo code. Head to ShippingNation.com. Week or monthly, six month and annual packages. Hoop15 will get you 15% off. Good luck, everybody. Hope you guys have. Guys and girls, have a great day. Have a great night. Good luck. Let's see some Ship and Nation logos up top. For myself, Title Town, good luck. Be safe.